Hello, Andy here. Version 0.6 of Good Data for VS Code is out, and now we have preview functionality for charts and dashboards. This is a big milestone, as you can now preview all analytical objects that matter without leaving the comfort of your IDE. Exceptions being date dataset and dashboard plugins, but there is nothing to preview really. More on that later. Let's take this opportunity to reiterate on preview functionality of our VS Code extension. First, you can preview individual dataset in the logical data model. The preview is very straightforward. It is showing the first 10 rows of the dataset as a plain table. There is also a shortcut to switch to a different profile. For SQL dataset, there is also an option to preview the results of the SQL statement before it is mapped to a dataset fields. This is useful if you want to quickly iterate on your SQL statement. Date datasets are synthetic, meaning it is more of a configuration for the date dimension. There is no real database table behind it, thus there is nothing to preview here. Metric preview is more interesting though. As is, metrics always produce a single number that is meant to be sliced by dimension ad hoc. That is why metric preview supports slicing by one or more dimensions. Visualization preview is, well, exactly what it sounds like. We are using the same UI components to render the chart as in our web UI. So other than a different theme, it should look exactly the same as for your end users. Beside a chart preview, you can also check out the underlying data sheet we are generating for the visualization. This is useful when you want to iterate on the way the data is aggregated before assigning it to a specific bucket of the chart. Last but not least is the dashboard preview. Here you can see all your hard work that comes together in the end and uh, render a single analytical dashboard. Same as visualization preview, we are using the same UI components in our web interface, uh, so the results should be very close to what your end user will see. The dashboard preview is responsive, so it is useful when you want to see how the layout will look on the smaller screen. Our goal with preview functionality is to reduce context switching when working with your analytics, meaning there should be no need to jump back and forth between the browser and your VS Code. Do you think the previews I showed are enough? Are we missing something important? Let me know in the comments. And while we're there, also make sure to subscribe. That's all for today. See you in the next video.